in this present world. Much prayer, much power. A little prayer, a little power. No prayer, no power. Mark 9, 29, King James Version. Why couldn't we cast the demon out of the boy, Jesus? For this kind cometh forth by nothing but prayer and fasting. You want to get into the highest area with God? It's not going to make you any more saved. It's not going to put your name in a different color in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's written in His own blood. This is not a works doctrine. You're yeah. saved by grace through faith alone, not of works, lest any man could boast. Right. It's a free gift of God. But what are you going to do with the gift now that it's been given to you? Amen. Are you going to bury your talent? Mm. Hide it under a bushel? No, I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Hide it under a bushel? No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> let it shine. This kind, not the demon, but unbelief in you and in me comes out through prayer and fasting. The focus of that verse is not that the demon comes out because of prayer and fasting. He says this one didn't come out because of your unbelief. This kind of unbelief only comes out through the combination of prayer and the word and fasting. Fasting is not a hunger strike against God. It's not manipulation to get something from God that He doesn't want to do. It is a tool to get into the highest will of God to unlock His perfect will into the situation that His highest will might be done in the earth as it is in heaven. What is it that you really need from God that lines up with Scripture? Could it be that God has something for you? It's not manipulation. Rather, it's stepping into the highest will of the Father. So He might give you His perfect gift. Because fasting is not required of you. It's given for your benefit. But Jesus, as a role model, said, When you give, when you pray, and... When you fast. One of the easiest ways to start fasting is simply this. 18 hours the first time. After 6 o'clock at night, don't eat anything. And then at noon, have lunch. 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. is 12 hours, isn't it? 6 a.m. to noon is another 6 hours. That's 18 hours, isn't it? Round one. Get that one under your belt. We'll give you from a white belt to a yellow belt. Be a yellow belt faster. Then the next time you try it, try it till three o'clock. Or try it until five o'clock at dinner. Now you got a 23 or a 24 hour fast under your belt. And remember, this is not about performance. This is about climbing up into the highest school of God to get free from unbelief. And then, try a 36 hour, or a 72 hour. Getting some strange looks from this Presbyterian congregation. <laughs> Did I suddenly sprout five heads? You guys are looking at me funny. <laughs> He's calling us down another thousand cubits in the river that flows from the sanctuary. He's calling us out of ankle deep waters into knee-deep waters. He's calling us down a thousand cubits from knee-deep waters into waist-deep waters. He's calling us down from waist-deep waters into a river that we can swim in. Are you willing to go on the journey? Prophet Phil Rich is coming next week. I encourage you to seek the Lord about what He would have you to consider enjoying with the Lord in your time of prayer, the word, and that seven-letter word, fasting. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that your word 
is so rich, it's so good. The same seed in the same soil results in three different harvests. Lord, help us to walk not just in your goodwill or your well-pleasing will, but in your perfect will. That we might hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Show us how to seek you, that we might see all the benefits that you have for us. That we would not stand before you on the day of judgment and find out that you had so much more for us because you daily loaded us with your benefits. But we didn't know how to access them. Help us to climb into the highest will with you. Help us to leave the outer courts of our Christian experience in this worldly Babylonian mindset and religious mindset. Move on through the wilderness where you get the wild in us out. That we might move on under perfection into the Holy of Holies where deep calls unto deep. And that you might change and transform us. That we might become like that grandmother out of her prayer closet from 5 to 6 a.m. That led many of the stars from Miami Vice to Christ at her nursery school in Florida. That she led people from Haiti to Christ. People from different countries in Florida to Christ. And ran a trucking company that never had an accident in 18 years. With three to five 18 wheelers the whole time. And they wanted to know her secret on how as a woman she could run a trucking company for 18 years without a single claim. With three to five trucks running all over the United States. And she says, the secret is 5 to 6 a.m. every morning. This kind cometh forth by nothing but prayer and fasting. Lord, give us a fasting spirit this week. And then show us your glory in the week to come. In Jesus' name, those in agreement said, Amen. 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 Some things to think about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can turn that on. Thanks.